Trying to put my headphones on. Some help. No, I got it. <laughs> um, with Spotify, can yeah. I run a live stream of my phone? Oh, no. Can I technically play, play for your TV? No, I, I'm going to, but I wanted to control the songs from there so I didn't have to keep coming over here. Use your iPad? What? Use your iPad? No, because I have to download it before I go. Mm, it's already downloaded. It's fine. I've signed into it. It's fine. Hey, why are you doing this? Also, I'm live. Yeah, but why you do this? Go and play Overwatch. But. <laughs> Can't hear you over my Pokemon remixes. <laughs> well. <laughs> I just need to get my water. So how would you know if people are actually commenting? Because it comes up on there. I'll be back in a sec guys, I'm just getting some water. Hi guys. Hey Ash. Hello everyone. Just reading the chat quickly. <laughs> so, hmm. I need my light box. Where did I put that? So yeah, I need my light box for this. Exciting. I am going to be painting. Oh, hang on, Ash. Very sweet FK, because I'm covering my vision though. Oh, okay, no worries. I mean, I've got my sound in my headphones. I might just swap it to non headphones so you guys have some background noise. But I will not be getting monetized. <laughs> I play like royalty free stuff, but. Let me know if you guys can hear this. So if you want to know the playlist, it's called Pokemon Remixes on Spotify. 
and it's got like a Pikachu smushed into the screen. <laughs> it's really cute. So, oh, what am I painting? I have two sketches already made. Um, this one is Taru Honda from uh, Fruits Basket, and this is Kirishima and Bakugo from My Hero. And I've drawn them digitally so I could definitely get a feel for it um, before committing. I like sketching digitally, but I don't always like um, rendering digitally. No, kind of off it. I had this issue the other week. Where's my masking tape gone? My blue masking tape for watercolours. Oh, really irritating. I also use it for my cutting machine, so I need to find it soon. That mad compress thing. I'm not even started compress. This is compress. Where do I put that masking tape? Is the only stuff that might work. Oh. oh, I think I know where it is. But it's downstairs, my mum's downstairs, and I'm visiting, so. I think it's a big fly convention commission case. Which sucks. So I do is crappy masking tape that I hate. Hey Joe Quinn, haven't seen you in ages. How are you? You're like an OG fan. So this paper is, are we focus? I think it's finding it difficult to focus. It looks really blurry to me. I did this last time though. I'm not sure which one to go with first. I think Tori's gonna take a lot longer to ink so I might start with this one. So I stick it to the back of my watercolor paper which I don't stretch because I'm stupid. I just don't stretch my watercolor paper anymore and it's a really bad habit. <sighs> I'm just a colossal tool and I should not be, uh, should not be a role model for any aspiring watercolor artists. <laughs> with it and I can trace the sketch which I've like finalized properly digitally so it should translate well enough traditionally if that makes sense it just means that like so with digital sketches you can like manipulate and move stuff around and add layers and remove layers so there's a lot more flexibility like I would love to use my dip pen but on this kind of paper, not so good. Or at least I, I don't really, I'm not very good with them, but I'm desperate to learn. Aesthetic. <laughs> ah, thank you. Avoiding revision. Don't avoid revision. Although I find it hard to revise because it's just like, Sometimes it just doesn't go in, does it? Okay, let's try a brush pen. The good thing about having a separate sketch, they are fun, but I'm a little bit scared of them. The 
the fun thing about having a separate sketch is if you do mess up, this is a weird remix. Um, if you do mess up, you can just start again. Also, erasing stuff that's directly on watercolour paper ruins the tooth. I'm so bad for all of this myself. I am a massive hypocrite, but like, just do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> My light box is dying. It's sort of flickering. Do you have any tips on using dip pens? Quite interesting that I can see the likes. Like, is that necessary for a, a live show? I wonder. Well, anyway, if you're enjoying it, please like it. I currently don't stream on Twitch because I just haven't found comfort, like, haven't found a comfortable setup again. I was really comfortable in my setup when I lived in my old place, but obviously that had to change. Um, I do have, like, Twitch plans, but I'm just settling into a new job. And I... I'm just trying to like get used to the hours that I'm working and then I will start back up on Twitch but it's probably not going to be art as much as it is gaming if that makes sense as you join can we ask you Q&A questions of course you can you can ask me anything any tips for your first convention um, When's your, is, is your first convention the London MCM by chance? Because that's coming up in a few weeks, but um, I think best tip is just get there on time, always have bottles of water, try not to worry so much about selling and just... Um, if you're kind of like the anxious type that can't really speak to people, just use this as an opportunity to sort of like, this is what I'm going to talk about in my Artist Alley videos is, are they getting the mattress out downstairs? Are they getting the mattress out downstairs? Can you not hear it? I think they moved the sofa to get the mattress out. It's like, re. Great, and who's going to put it back? Mum. So I've got no one. Yeah, she'll have to. I am. My partner's out of hospital, by the way. But yeah, I'm going to talk about ooh, anxiety and performing under the influence of anxiety at Comic Con. Whilst your boyfriend is in hospital. <laughs> at at Comic Con, no. No, like you said, oh, I'm going to discuss it about anxiety. <laughs> no. Whilst at Comic Con, I was like, yeah, whilst your boyfriend's in hospital. Do you know the first half <laughs> of the conversation? I'm talking about like someone's asking about tips for their first artist alley. Yeah. But yeah, just um. Don't be nervous and don't be shy. And everyone's just as like nervous and anxious as you are. Even if they have been doing Comic-Con for a long time, they are just as worried as you. Um, there's there's no such, there's almost no such thing as too much stock. I have unfortunately been at a point in my life when there has been too much stock. And I found it, oh, I messed up a bit there, but it's okay. And I found it hard to sell a lot of that stock because then it quickly became like not my regular stuff. And so I'm gonna talk about that too. But it's always better to overstock than understock. You can't sell what's not there. Oh, give me a sec guys, my mom's showing. What? Yeah, you know, Sorry about that, guys. 
why is my mum staying over? She didn't know I was like she would. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell her, but you know. <laughs> if that helps anyway. But it's quite a few bubbles pop up. Yeah, it's alright. When your mum tells you to get off Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, I'll let her know you said hi, Chi. Hi, Jack. Why did you want to become a Comic-Con artist? Hang on a sec, let me, let me scroll up a bit. Congrats on the job, thank you. <laughs> okay. How old do you have to be to enter a convention like Comic-Con? So as like an attendee, um, or like as an artist to sell because to sell, I think roughly 16, 18. So for MCMs, hey, Helen. Um, so for MCMs, they have strict policies with their breakdown and setup because there's heavy machinery, there's a lot of stuff going on. You can't be under the age of 16 during breakdown. So you have to be of a certain age to access areas at certain times so I would say probably around the uh, 16 to 18 mark is when you can start selling when you can start going like whenever I guess if you've got a parent with you as an artist yeah it depends on the show so you'd, you'd have to look that up but I'd probably say around 16 to 18 is when you can start I live in Dublin my first one is decaf no ah, cool you're welcome. The comics festivals are a little bit different. So if it's like, sort of like TCAF, um, what's the one we have here? What's that? Uh, oh, you won't know it. Okay. It's the comics festival we have every year. I think it's... Yeah, Coxcom. No, 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 it's not here. It's, uh. I think it's in Leeds. Can't remember. Thought bubble. That's it. Thought bubble. I don't know if anyone in the chat said it. Probably someone. So like things like thought bubble stuff is going to sell very differently to that it would to what it would at something like a proper big comic con like an anime con. And you've just got to tailor yourself to the audience. So if I was doing like thought bubble, I would sell like zines and comics. I wouldn't take like my fan art or anything. I'm coming to the next comic con. Hope to see you there. Ah. Cool, which one? As in like MCMs? Thank you, Jeremy Thomas. Hello, Alia. Did someone ask, when will you be moving to Canada? I'm not going to Canada. <laughs> what made you want to become a Comic-Con? Oh, MCM, all the MCMs, so yay. Um, what made me want to become a Comic-Con artist. So, back in, gosh, 2010 maybe? 2009? It was a long time ago. I went to a very, very small convention called Nemacon that was held in Middlesbrough. <laughs> and there must have been like, one to two hundred people but it was my first ever thing and I cosplayed as Emma Sky from Ace Attorney and downstairs was like a tiny selection of artists so there was like one or two and there was this artist that I had known on DeviantArt and she was there and I was so excited and her name is Destiny Blue and we're actually friends now which is really cool and surreal um, and I wanted to be just like her I bought her stuff. I don't know where that stuff is now, which is a shame. But I wanted to do that, and that made such an impression on me, and that, that was when I was in university. And it just wasn't very heard of, so I wanted to... So, so when I came back from Hong Kong in 2013, there was a show called WonCon, which was being held in Middlesbrough as well, and it was the successor to Nemacon. And that was my first table, and it was amazing. <laughs> I 
it's funny I say like oh I'm too scared to use like dip pens and stuff but I, I was never like this with brush pens like I, I was never confident with brush pens at one point so I'm just like maybe there's hope for me yet with dip pens I just gotta go for it and practice So you walk a sucker. Oh yeah, you did. I was here. I'm becoming as Mikasa Ackerman. Oh cool. I need to watch Attack on Titan. I am doing three cosplays. I'm doing um, a Chaco Uraka. Ura, 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 I can't say it properly. Uraka. <laughs> Um, and then on, that's on the Friday Saturday I'm doing like casual sort of closet cosplay of Bakugo it's it's just me basically doing an outfit inspired by Bakugo it's not really a cosplay but I will cosplay in one day I promise not as a boy though because I don't know, maybe as a boy. I just don't know whether I'd be very good at that. Also, I'd have to like bind and stuff. And... See you later, Lace. Through androgyny. I would love that. I'd love to be able to sort of present more androgynous sometimes. So I've realised that there's some things I really like in life, and that's spikes <laughs> and the colour yellow like two of my top three favourite Pokemon are like spiky Bakugo is spiky <laughs> I haven't made a full proper cosplay I've been working on an SU pearl hoodie just to casually that that's so cool See, like, I have um, pearl dresses, which always double up well as a sort of casual cosplay. I like to do a lot of outfits inspired by, almost like Disney bound kind of stuff, but of like other things. I think I've done back against hair too big, but I don't care. Yeah, it's like a super generic one that I got off eBay. It's like 30 quid. Have I done his hair too big, do you think? I don't know. When I lift it up, it doesn't look that bad. Because his hair is quite big. I think. Ah, uh, this is the no move fight. I think. No move fight? No. Stain. Why did I say no move? I must have read it. <laughs> He's in this, he's on the cover. There he is. So his hair is quite big. See you later, Shay. Hair can never be too big, it's full of secrets. Never yeah, have too much spiky poof, that's true. I suppose to get that many cons. This. 
this London MCM will be my ninth. Something that never goes with me is like the panic that sets in when you're lining something. I think maybe Helen, but at the same time, I would love to see you at an MCM show. Manchester is so good. Yeah. Sometimes I do hold my breath. Do I do commissions? I do, they're actually open on my Etsy at the moment. They're discounted currently. I think London and MC, like the big MCMs, kind of, um, it's better if you're behind a table, definitely, it makes a massive difference. One pouty boy. Um, no, I'm no longer freelance. Crap. Crap. Rescue it, rescue it! Hmm. That's annoyed me a little bit. I might have to start again. Started going to MCM before it got super busy, which I'd gone before. Oh, I started going. <sighs> Looks okay. That's a really thick line. I'm making it worse. <sighs> I'm going to be doing a dark background anyway. I'm going to see what it looks like. 
So I might be able to just blend that in with the background. Thick chin. It's a manly chin and Kirishima does like manly stuff, so... Thick, unethical. I'm seeing Detective Pikachu on Sun... Uh, no, I'm not seeing Detective Pikachu on Sunday. Lauren and Charlie are seeing Detective Pikachu on Sunday. I saw it yesterday. <laughs> Why all the My Hero kids have to have like mad scene hair, I don't know. I think it's very hard to draw. Hello, aching SSG. What do we think? How does that look, even with Kirishima's ridiculously chin? Thick chin. <sighs> I kind of said it's it for Prince. You're right. I just don't like getting it wrong. So I might ink a bit of the fruits basket one, but I won't be editing up, um, inking all of it on stream because with it having a background, it's a bit harder to do. And 
I'll need like the elbow room, like my camera's here. <laughs> and it's, it's like, I'll need the elbow room to get all the small details. Um, just to let you guys know, this is 9 or 11 inch Bockingford. Um, of CP White. So this is going to be harder to see through because me and the infinite pleb that I, oh no, that's really difficult. Oh, I have to reprint it. I did it on stupid print of uh, sticker paper, didn't I? <sighs> no wonder I don't recognise it. It's bloody something new. Which I did not enjoy. Jello. I'm not using fluid because I don't have any small enough. Well, well, it's not small. I don't have anything around medium size. I only have large. I have um, 12 by 16, 8 by 16, and then like 8 by 6, which is too small. So I don't have anything medium sized. I, for medium sized stuff, I tend to stick with, because um, getting that medium sized stuff, is a bit easier and more affordable if it's like A4 to go with things like Casa or other brands. Just waiting for Terry to print out. Why is she taking so long? I thought I'd put it on the bloody high setting. <sighs> That's really annoying. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Don't worry, Chi. I'm looking for one, like a dimmer because of my back eyes. What, what's this? Uh, Rex for a desk lamp. Just a normal one. Go to Wilco's. Rest in peace. It's like a sticker, a massive sticker. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so I just have like a cheap four pound lamp from Wilco's and it's got like a 60 watt bulb in it and that's the one I have for bedtime, so it's not too bright. I also have one of their, um, you know, like the retro kind of laboratory style, I don't know what they're called, like the copper old fashioned bulbs. I have one of those in the main light and that's actually dimmer than my lamp, <laughs> but it makes everything orangey and weird. It's really nice. So I have that in the bedroom. So it's a relaxing light instead.
Amazon, I find Amazon quite expensive for household stuff. Oh, this is gonna be a ball ache. Just watched two episodes of Fruits Baskets. It's put me in the mood. I don't know if like thick and thin line will work for this. Sorry, I keep. I have to lean back to read the chat. VM could double. Yep, VM's good. I wish we had a range nearby. Hamster thing on the shoulder. This one? He's a rat. I better pay because my highlights are just might end up scrapping. Oh, I've done this wrong, haven't I? Sorry, I'm heavy breathing. I have to like mega focus when. Bargains in them, yeah. Does this line not look too heavy? Helen. 
Just don't know if it matches the tone of the show. Thank you, Holly. My personal favourite is Kyo. <laughs> also, Helen, you should watch the show. It's really sweet. Not, but it's like it's such a good anime it's like for a lot of people it was one of their first and the fact that it's been remade is just so amazing gravity falls is so good I'm making bill cipher stickers Umbrella Academy was really good. Also, like, have you seen the latest? Have you seen, like, last night's EastEnders? Helen. Klaus is amazing. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? Oh, okay.
Sorry, I need to keep reading the chat. What am I drawing? I'm drawing Toru Honda from Fruits Basket. Really interested in buying... Oh, what's this? Is this for MCM Mate? It sure is. Five is really good too. Yeah, I loved Five. Five and Close are my favourites. Yep, Fruits Basket. Oh, um... Commissions? I... I could um, frame the commissions, yeah. I've just realised I didn't draw her sleeve on the sketch. I just drew her arm. Oh no, thinking on my feet, thinking on my feet. I can do it framed. I have access to easy framing facilities. I mean, I could buy frames. <laughs> my favourite anime. It's probably a toss up between. Cardcaptor Sakura. Am I live? I can't tell. Yuki or Kyo, always Team Kyo. Always Team Kyo. Favourite anime is probably Card Cup Sakura. Yeah, I don't know what happened. My my thing went down. But is it, in regards to commission. Uh, yes, I could probably, if it's going to be a large one, um, it'd be best to get it in sooner rather than later if you want MCM pickup. Because I'm already working on a couple of large ones for then. sketch and put Yuki's body behind her hair because it looks weird. Ugh, I don't know if I'm feeling this. We at MCM October again. One of you was one of the highlights of the weekend for me last year. Yeah, of course I will. I don't like missing it. So it's normally the week after my birthday as well, which is really cool. Cats are so hard to draw. They're like liquid, they're made of liquid. <laughs> I 
That's true, she is a meme. Purple, thank you so much. Purple Puck. That's a cute name. Sorry, I keep tapping the phone, I know. It's me reading the chat. Yeah, my light box is flickering. It's on its way out. I think after Card Captor Sakura, it's probably something like Ghost in the Shell. His favourite anime. Anatomy? I uh, don't know her. You're putting it back on. Do you want me to help you? If you want. Me. I'm just gonna help Sean put his cast back on. Do you want me? I'm just getting stiff being long. <sighs> Come a bit closer. So yeah, Sean's arm is in a cast. He's probably going to be off. Did that hurt? Okay. He's probably going to be off work for about six weeks with his arm injury. I have to help him take his cast on and off because it's removable. You know, it keeps getting stiff being long, so every time I bent my arm, it's hard to like. Mm. So I was like, put it back in this. He's going to be as bad. Is that tightness then? Yeah. Because that'll do the rest. Are you jamming out, Steve? Yes. I want it on the Thank you, honey. It's alright. The <sighs> phone was flashing it. It's fine, I can always. Sending you much love, Sean Cypher Daddy O. <laughs> Sean, get well soon. I hate having a full on cast. The thing is effing annoying when you get an itch. Feel better soon, Sean. Aww. Thank you, guys. <laughs> hey, Ellie. At least it's a removable cast, though. I know, at last. Like, technology has evolved to give us. Ash says, get better, nerd. Thank you, Ash. I don't understand why this thing comes out of the first place. Right? <laughs> don't get morbid, go back to your game. Oh my god, has Noctis got a cat tail? Yeah, the four, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. I've done it all. I've got a new sun. Nice. It made a difference because I've not finished the game off now. Oh, Ellie, it's just because my sketch is underneath. Like, I actually, I'm quite messy with sketches. <laughs> Hi from Sweden. Wow. I always wanted to kind of go Sweden. Not like, kind of, I've always kind of wanted to go Sweden. Well, let's go. We should.
Even though I know what Sean looks like, I still imagine Simon Pegg whacking a zombie with a cricket bat. <laughs> it's true. Pretty much. <laughs> Comic Con is going to be uh, London MCM. Is Sean going to be at MCM? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Uh, I like the MCMs. And he ain't seen London yet, so he has to come. Especially now that I'm not working in game either. A custom house definitely fox. Ugh. I've never been interested in going the fox. And now that they that you have to get tickets, just like whatever. Custom house though. And probably as on either I might do it Friday. But I think we're doing Coco Curry Friday, aren't we? Yeah. Going yes. out to Coco Curry in a Chaco cosplay. <laughs> I am maximum weeb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I won't be dressing up, will I? Not with this arm. Huh? I won't be dressing up with anything with this arm, will I? I so. don't have any cosplays. You don't want a cosplay? No, we said we were going to do that one, but I'm not going to announce it out loud because we don't want people to know. Why? Because you said not to tell anyone. Did I? Yeah. It's the ultimate one we're doing, like the ultimate one. I the ultimate one. How'd you may? Oh! Right, I get ya. It's gonna take a lot of prep, that. Sean Drunk is still my phone background. <laughs> Even if I got drunk, I didn't even hurt my arm from that even way. Ellie Sharda sends their love to you. Thank you. No, it's not Hajime. Hajime like is sort of like a uh, cosplay that. We've always joked that he has to do at some point, but he's not. That's not the one we're about. So we're not doing that one for this time round. Are we going to wait? No, so what? That one? Yeah. The one. The one. And um, no, because I'll see my arm. Okay. I'll wait for my arm to fully get better because I need full um, use. Uh. And I've got to wait for my energy levels to also be back up else so there you are. <laughs> yeah, you should be Hajime at some point though. But now we're going to have to like get you a wig for Hajime. Oh yes, I've got my blue hair doesn't cut it. Okay, so drawing Shiguro was really hard. Do, 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 do. 
Harry the Tangler book in jail. How did I learn to draw? Um, so I just, I you was always stick, drawing. The stick purse and, and then doodles from there. Ignore my partner. He's <laughs> crazy because he has a cast on. Um, I was just drawing all of my life. And then... I kind of, um, sorry, I'm concentrating on inking. Where's his ear? I didn't clean up this part of the sketch before. I printed it, oh God. do <laughs> so yeah um i basically just and i i did go to like art college and then art university and do like art courses but i was always just practicing in my spare time so that that's where i like, got my practicing from <laughs> oh god the chat wasn't scrolling eee! do you do a5 watercolor commissions um i can do i just don't have a listing for them turn it really adorable thank you i can feel on my team on low health and gary is mocking me about his book <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> vivid flashbacks. Smell you later. Oh no, he's gonna smell me later. <laughs> Just eating to the sound. There's a video on here and it's like... Oh, where is it? Uh, Morrison's first interview talks on being a white rapper growing up in Newham. But yeah, it's very white. <laughs> he is. He's really like. <laughs> but then the thing is, what's wrong with this one? Why is that so white? <laughs> so the thing that's made me laugh. It's like I don't know who this guy is, but Eminem's white. There's some other people that are white because they've been around for ages and they've just died off. So, what's being him? What's him being white any different to any of the others being white, and growing up in Newham? I don't know. Maybe we should watch it and find out. No, because I listened to him jab on about his fact that his dad walked off so he get some ice cream, never come back, and then his mom did the same. Then he went up for adoption, and then he lived with his aunt. What the hell are you chuntering on? Go and watch Donkey or something, you. <laughs> but he's the whitest rapper. He looks like Elijah Wood. <laughs> Sean's getting a... Uh... <laughs> night night! <laughs> Ash said the whitest rapper, don't rub me on my title. <laughs> <laughs> Am I back up yet? Yeah. That was quite funny, Ash. You see what I mean? Why isn't Ash on BBC Radio 1 with his interview? Anyway. Just wait for everyone to come back then. Well, they're not normally going to have to do their interviews for being a rapper. I everyone. mean, I'm good at rapping at Christmas, if you know what I mean. No, you're not. You're terrible. <laughs> you used an entire <gasps> roll of friends' wrapping paper to wrap my birthday. birthday present. Yeah, but that's not Christmas. Three metres. 
Yeah, but it's funny then. Ash said, uh, yeah, yeah, here is a rap, brap, brap, yeah, yeah. Oh. That, that's my <laughs> Carter rap impression. <laughs> I like it. The sick free hands on lines that need to be very strong. God, he hasn't stopped chuntering the entire time. I'm back. Do it. Fuck him. Rap. Are we back up, guys? hate myself. Wow, look at that for a freehand straight line. That's straighter than I am. Oh, cool. It's not Mother's Day here. Like, Mother's Day has already been. That line was not so straight. Is this Panic at the Disco? Pressing the button. Also, yeah, I'm doing a background, can you believe?
thing is my sketch is so messy underneath that I've, I think I've just balls this up massively. We only at 50 likes. <gasps> 55, yay! <laughs> Thanks guys! So I looked at reference for like a Japanese style house, that's what I'm drawing. There's like beams that go across here but I don't want to do those just yet. Thank you, Manix. And have like a cherry blossom blossom tree up here. And now we're almost at 60 likes. That's amazing. But I got a big old cherry blossom tree up here and it's very very yay 60 likes thank you very much guys um there's a lot of like dark area to fill in so I might do that in like, acrylic over the top after because I'm going to do the cherry blossom petals in acrylic as well or gouache maybe I don't know something that'll sit Sleepy. 
Oh no, did mum bring my washing in? I'll have to text her when I'm done. Oh, I'm sorry. I am quite sleepy. So yeah, the top corner is kind of like invisible. But there she is, so far. But I need like a ruler on, along that bit, I think. And I need to use my left arm for that, but the camera's in the way. So that could have to be tomorrow. But I think Bakugo and Kirishima are dry now though. Need my light box. Need this paper. Thank you, Helen. <sighs> Thinking I might do the background first. I was gonna do it a really deep purpley color. Or like a deep blue. That'll make them like really stand out. I've never really done that before, so I'd be quite interested. I have done some of it before, but like, I'd be interested to see how it turned out. I am going to be using watercolour. These ones, to be exact. He's watching a video at the moment. She told uh, Chi told you to check Discord. Check Discord. I don't know what should I do, guys. I'm gonna start with Kirishima's hair though. Where else on Discord am I checking? Nanny, where am I checking? <laughs> As if you just said nanny on a live stream. I don't care. <laughs> Morgan server, Comic Con chat. Oh, the mystery shack. <laughs> That's really cool. That, that, now that is art. <laughs> I'm not painted in a while, guys. Ah, there's fluff on my painting. Get off. Hello, Rosanne. Why is it fluff stuck to the paper? I find reds are really hard to work with. just be super reflective off my ring light I'm afraid Assuming I'm not sure until I'm too tired to carry on. I'm, I get very tired on a night now. Windsor Newton watercolor tube, cool. I know. Look at that. 
The pigment is stunning. This is Cass Art's own brand watercolour tubes. Professional grade. Give me a fun new YouTube after you're done. I ask because I love watching your live streams. Oh, and this is. Yeah, I'll leave this up on my live stream. It's not going to be monetized though, so. Uh, sweat. To be honest, I actually talked about demonetizing my entire channel recently, and my friends talked me out of it. Because I felt that like making videos and then checking to see how much I've earned is just not what I'm about anymore. And I had to be at one point. Um, so you guys know the reason. Oh no, I know I don't live anywhere near a cast art. Near Suns, Birmingham. But yeah, my friends kind of talked me out of demonetizing and I can see why. But at the same time, it's still on my mind. Like, I'm like, I might do it still. Your watercolor painting too? That's so cool. I need to get the reference up of their suits because I need these colors. I'm getting a chair next time with no arms on it. Woo! Nearly lost my camera then. Swatch watercolour tubes? I could do. Do I have any spare watercolour paper to hand right now? Oh, yes, I do. Colour swatch some stuff for you guys. Might as well get mons for providing people with free entertainment essentially. That's what the argument was. I think. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the money I make off YouTube is so minimal. Like, probably hit like the bare minimum threshold each month. And you're right, like, you might as well get money for it, but. At the same time, I'm just like, if I don't have it monetized, I'm not going to check for it to see how much it's making, like I'm ingrained to do. If that makes sense.
Uh, no, I just. I mean, I can see why people think I'm probably insane for wanting to switch off for monetization. And yeah, it's bonus cash, but I don't really want to upload for that anymore. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I don't think anyone really like sees my point of view on it because I can't get it across very well. I find it very difficult to explain myself and as to why demonetizing my channel would make me feel better. I don't know. Hard to explain. It's like, oh, people would love to be in your shoes, like earning money off YouTube, even even if it is like minimal. So is YouTube being a way to make money and external pressures and just be able to enjoy it without the stress? Yeah, kind of. So you can see how grainy reds tend to be. It's, it's kind of also the fact that like, I used to have to rely on it and I used to have to like track it so often. And like, what easier way to get out of that than uh, by switching it off. Because for a lot of people now, monetization on YouTube is a goal. It used to be on mine. I was like, it'd be so cool if I could be monetized. Ah. Uh -huh. It is it is exhausting putting your self worth out there onto numbers. Thank you, Pudge. I like your name. I've got a chicken character called Pudge. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, when you upload a piece, like there's that overhanging worry, like, oh, can I swear in this? Can I, like, is this music gonna hit me? Like even, I've uploaded like songs, royalty-free songs before on my videos and I've got like slammed for it. And I've had to go out of my way and prove that I can like use the music. And it's just like a ball, eh? If I could turn off views on a video. <laughs> sometimes find social media a little bit dehumanizing. Demoralizing. Little burb. <laughs> it is.
So it become a lot more oh, free. So it's a lot more fun and less pressured. Maybe you use YouTube only for things that you could put towards. YouTube uses like pen, paints and everything. That's true. So I'm like, no worries. 500 drawing prompts, that's a lot. So, I might just do it directly on the paper. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it's another thing I've kind of been doing, like, it's like, oh, um, it's a good idea. Like, I'm not shooting down your idea, do not worry. But like the thought of buying more art supplies used to fill me with absolute, the purest joy known to mankind. And now I'm just like, I don't need that. I walk through art shops and stationery stores without buying anything. And I just find like I don't need anything. I went, like I saved up my time to try like new things. And that was like the stuff I bought in Japan. So I spent quite a bit there, but that's the, like I haven't bought art supplies since Oh God, I think it was 2017. I just didn't buy anything. Oh, thank you. I bought a few things, like I bought these paints in 2018. That's because I generally wanted to move my watercolors away from pans. Um, And I wanted to try acrylic, so I bought some acrylic stuff and then I got a gift set of acrylic stuff. And what else did I get in 2018? Yeah, that's, that's all I can think of, art supply wise. Are you allowed to know what Oh, what Comic-Con am I going to? London Comic-Con, uh, MCM. You're right there, like, putting that money towards, like, art supplies would be really good. Maybe you think of YouTube cash as a tip jar, save up pennies at the end of the month and use it for a date day cake. That's nice. I like that. Oh no, Mr. Brown. I'll do that now. This is gonna look horrible. It's like not in order whatsoever now. Save the pennies for Kiri Baku Dojins. Didn't get enough paint on that one. Extra pizza. Don't eat pizza anymore. I can't eat pizza anymore. I struggle. Ever since I threw up bread last year, I've just massively gone off pizza. You have no idea. What colours have I missed? Oh, I only have nine. Oh, I'm going for the whole thing. I have a table. Yay, cool. I have a table up in... Uh, it's near Create Escape where the somewhere in the city stand will be. Posted public, we may saw up, I've been there. I'm so glad. Ah, oh, thank you, Emma. 
I'm sorry you went through it too. Sure, uh, how much will I charge? Oh, it's um, it buffered at that time, so yeah. Um, I'd have to think a little bit about that. If you message me on Etsy, I'll be able to discuss that with you. The top one is... I know, it's just um, a playlist on Spotify. I'm fairly new to your channel. You have to binge watch all the videos before me. Oh gosh! You don't have to! Thank you, Chu Fan. Uh, what's this one? Indian Yellow. It's a big arrow. <laughs> It'd be strange if I drew something for you. Oh gosh, of course, go for it. It's not strange at all. There's a few pictures on my wall there, actually. Gifts from people at Comic Cons and stuff that were sent to me in the post, etc. on his cobalt teal. Ta-da! There you go. Yeah, I need to see Freak here. It's like calming and it's where you set off around and it's like ring dubstep. Sorry, not read the chat. Everyone buy my canvas, really? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just 
just like maybe making people happy. Okay, let's go back to the boys for a bit and then I'm probably heading off to bed. I know Bakugo has a red shirt and a black tie. And Kirishima has the opposite. My reference has disappeared. My screen saver's up. Ah, uh, thanks, Pudge. It'll be hard to read the chat now. Yes, it's from the movie. Which, if you're a Kiri Baku fan, it was just like, it was a big old treat that was. Might have to look up about granulation of red pigments and watercolour. Oh yeah, it's probably my favourite My Hero ship. Probably one of my favourite ships of all time. some um, Kirishima's hair colour in. See if we can flatten out this granulation. I don't think it's going to work though. You missed me doing Kirishima's hair? It's alright, it wasn't that long ago. I'm leaving the video up anyway for people to watch.
some pink into it. I just have to wait for it to like fully dry before going over the top with it again. Some of these remixes are wild. Oh, it's that guy again. Ugh. The same one as the Little Root one. I think it's just two remix for the sake of remix almost. I'm not too keen on it. You can't really tell on the live stream, but I've added quite a few different shades of red. Well, you can't tell on my phone. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> but yeah, I might head off now anyway. Because I'm very sleepy. Tired? Tired? Okay, we'll go to bed. I'm just finishing up. Right, night night guys, thank you for coming. I'll probably maybe do live streams on YouTube every so often now, just because it's easier than making a video, honestly. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys will see me doing the rest of these, like paint-wise, we shall see. That looks all right, actually, now that I look at it from a distance. It's not too bad. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and um, see you next week, maybe. Bye! bye. Sean says bye. <laughs> oh, God, no, it's hard. It's so hard to end these things, right? Bye! Finished art will be on Instagram. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's just Miss